is the first of January special edition of the City Newsroom for the year 2023 as we start our news bulletins for this year. My name is Vivian Kai Loco. Welcome to the City Newsroom. Coming up in today's edition of the City Newsroom. Ghanaians crossover to the new year will bring you sights and sounds of how they did it for the year 2023. I should be in church right now, but I'm not. So hopefully by the 12, when it's 12 a.m., just come out, say some prayers, at least thank God for life, um, thank God for everything. Also coming up in this edition of the City Newsroom, Chief of Staff urges universities to be circumspect in the charging of new fees for the year 2023. We don't want to impoverish anybody. We don't want any uh, potential tertiary student to drop out of school. And also coming up in today's edition of the City Newsroom, two persons in critical condition following an accident at the Kaswa toll booth. I'm in a crowd here. I'm fast fast and I'm not going and later in today's edition of the city newsroom as the new year approaches people in the nanumba of the northern region struggle to get access Now it's the 1st of January 2023 and on the 31st night of December, usually most people go to church to usher the new year. But what was it like this time around in the greater Accra region and other regions across Ghana? This report takes you to Accra and moves across the regions in Ghana to give you an idea of how Ghanaians ushered in the 2023. It is 31st December night where a number of people are going to churches to thank God and also seek God's favor going into the new year 2023. Now let's begin to speak to some people who are here basically to worship and to ask them how the year has been for them and how or what they anticipate the year 2023 to be. We have come to the end of the year. We have survived. We have life. And so we are grateful to God. And we're expecting that next year will be a better year. When you say next year should be a better year, what would be some of the mega things you want God to do for you and your church members for 2023? Well, the beginning of every year comes with excitement because it's a new beginning. And we are trusting that God will lift us up. Let's enter the church now and speak to some church members. Hello, sir. If you want to mind, we'll have to talk to you. If you want to mind. My name is Fred. What's your name? My name is Robert. Good. Uh, how will you describe 2022? Well, 2022 has been a very interesting year, uh, full of challenges, a lot of unexpectations, but uh, the Lord has been good. Yeah, that's what I can say. What's the anticipation for 2023? We are hoping for the best. We, those who are in the Lord, no matter the storms we see, we expect the goodness of the Lord to be present in 2023. 2022 has been a year that I've been struggling with God. I've been struggling with Christianity. I've been struggling to know God, but then I believe strongly in my heart that 2023 will be a year of God's goodness and I'll get to know him better and better. So long, Baba. You are singing to God. How has 2022 been for you? My pain and my sorrow. So long, Baba. What are you? 2022, God has been good. We are expecting that 2023, God will do something mega in our life. And again, goodbye to our pain and our sorrow. Bye-bye. 
Thank you. You heard it right there. People are saying bye bye to their sorrow, their pain, and the bad luck in 2022. They are anticipating that 2023 is going to be a blessed year. We are going to speak to more people across the city. It is all happiness, joyous moments here in one of the churches here at Dansoman, where the people are celebrating and thanking God, basically for seeing them through a successful year. And the dancing stars here tell us a lot. How has the year 2022 been for you? Things were not easy. Yeah, because of the COVID and how the dollar and the city went, you know, it was so bad, but by the grace of God, God has been able to sustain us. The Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, also wants Ghanaians to safeguard the peace and the security in the country. He addressed the congregants at the Church of Pentecost at Accra, Newtown, in Accra, when he joined Christians to mark the 31st watch night. What makes us unique is our unity in diversity, and we should guard it jealously. We may have our minor differences because of the differences in backgrounds which are normal, but in our differences, we must be indivisible. Ghana currently, the latest ranking makes us the second most peaceful country in Africa and the first most peaceful country in West Africa. And this we have to be thankful to God Almighty for. It is about a minute into the year 2023, and year congregants here at the Rich Church are about to usher in a new year, and they are going to leave behind the year 2022. Behind me is the president and the wife and other government um, officials who are worshiping here in the rich church and uh, people are praying basically thanking God for keeping them safe and sound and into the new year 2023 looking on my time it is about some few seconds into the new year 2023 and as you can hear the pastor or the bishop is actually counting down and it is exactly 2023 and the people here are happy as you can see the wife of the president the president himself and the congregants here are happy and everybody is happy congratulating each other uh, basically because we've all been able to cross into the year 2023 hello mom uh, entering into the new year how do you feel year, i feel so excited because everything that god gives is good and this is a year he is giving us so we will look forward to the things he has for us the good things he has for us the life the health the prosperity the wisdom the way we ourselves will work and trust him is what I'm looking forward to. Many have said that 2022 has been a challenging year. For you as a person, how will you describe it? You know, God never told us that life will be easy. And that's how I saw it. There are times that these things happen to us so that out of them we will grow strong. How do you expect our parliamentarians to act going forward? Whichever side they belong to is Ghana, first. We voted for them to serve us, not their interests. We've entered officially into the year 2023, and the date is 1st January 2023. On that note, we want to speak to a number of people here, and especially to see if we can also get some government uh, appointees to speak to uh, as far as uh, our coverage of the uh, new year is concerned. My anticipation is that... The challenges we face in 2022 will be looking at a positive trend. We're going to ensure that we follow an organized program that systematically will take us out. <laughs> take us out. Happy New Year. <laughs> out of the 
difficulties that we are facing. This is, this is a possible to see if we can get a comment from the president of the republic and so far we've realized that he's uh moving towards his vehicle maybe he may want to share a word uh with us uh, oh mr president <laughs> happy new year to you he's now leaving the church premises and going to his residence um he's done with his fellowship here at the uh, rich church where he fellowship with some government officials but i believe we can continue with the conversation with the chief of staff uh, we actually truncated it basically because we wanted to get a president but we're unsuccessful at that Ooh, we understand there is an increment especially for the universities uh, by some 15 percent threshold set and students are complaining here and there, appealing to the university authorities and even to government that probably they should yeah. intervene to ensure that there yeah. is some extension one and then the reduction in the percentage uh, increment. Yeah, I, I am sympathetic, but I am sure, as you know, if prices have gone up, then of course, you, naturally, the university it will cost more to run the university. But I think uh, just like we say we don't want to impoverish anybody we don't want any um, potential tertiary student to drop out of school because you can build a nation well with a high level human resource and therefore it's important that we maintain uh, everybody who has received uh, admission and qualified to enter so you don't want to overburden it so I think, just like I said, it's about dialogue and striking a balance so that we, while the university may legitimately want to increase, but at the same time, consideration as the importance of tertiary education in national development so that the increase is minimal threshold. You've just heard from our dear mother, the chief of staff, uh, the Honorable Fremer uh, Opare, who actually fellowshiped with the president here at the Rich uh, Church, and she's been sharing some perspective from the side of the government and what they intend doing going forward to ease the pressure on the generality of Ghanaians and to bring some sort of respite uh, on our current economic woes. My name is Fred Duho, reporting from the Rich Church here in Accra for City News. The first December watch night services are special days for many Christians across the country. And in the Ashanti region, many churches that we have been to, and Christians have expressed excitement and are looking forward to having a fantastic new year. I'm excited about 2023, and um, I don't really have a lot of expectations, but what I believe in is that. God has promised us that he will be with us. He's for us. So we are not afraid, no matter what may come our way. 2022 wasn't easy at all, is it at all? But we hope that 2023 will be a year of restoration and then the, a year that will bring, I mean, joy to many people. The mayor of Kumasi, Mr. Samuel Pine, has been visiting various churches and has been urging congregants to be law-abiding. That yes, nation building is not a single person's um, job. We all need to come together, cooperate in all that we do. They should abide by the regulations that we have as a city. They should do what is right. And with commitment and patriotism, I know, yes, 2022 was a difficult season for the country. But hopefully 2023, things are going to change. Many politicians also visited uh, various churches as part of the 31st Watch Night Services. Now, in 2022, all over the world. Not Ghana and Christmas. 
Yebedi New Year. Na yo nyame adum ntira. But God. But God. Abrochre. Abrochre. Whether it is the UK, the United States, Germany or France, from north to south, east and west. Kobisa. Na omo saline at the top ano. Your saline the top petrol. Your saline at the top cooking oil. On the construction of the National Cathedral, many Christians who visited various churches on 31st December 2022 have expressed mixed reactions. I'm, I'm a Christian and I know what we can do with a National Cathedral. But looking at the economic situation in the world currently, the timing is not right. My heart is in the National Cathedral. Yeah, if all believers will dip our hands in our pockets and then support what the president wants us to do, then it will be a great thing in, in the nation for, for all of us. Some unscrupulous persons use steadfast watch night services as very fertile uh, time to engage in various activities. And as a result of that, the police administration has intensified security and various officers have been stationed at vantage points. The Inspector General of Police joined uh, the police officers to patrol various areas within Kumase to ensure there is maximum security. For City News, I'm Edwards upon Marfo, Kumase. It was that time of the year that Christians congregate to usher in a new year. For most people, New Year presents an opportunity for a renewed spirit and purpose. As such, many make New Year resolutions, looking back at what was fulfilled in the past year and expectations in the new year. As the world crossed over into 2023, we find out from some Christians in the northern region how important New Year resolutions are and whether or not they believe in them. New Year resolution is very important to we Christians and it's a resolution that will help us to build upon the things that we're not able to achieve for the past year and it also help us to achieve the things that we plan for for the year. So it's very important and it's also like assessment of we assess ourselves for the year that we've entered. Even though things were not easy in terms of economic aspects, but by the grace of God, we're able to go through. It was a joyous moment for Corrigans and some churches, City News visited in the Tamale metropolis to live and witness yet again another year. Preaching the sermon on the theme, Jesus our Savior, the district pastor of the Evangelical Presbyterian Church Ghana in Tamale, Reverend E.K. Agbesi, urged Christians to inculcate the spirit of forgiveness and reconcile with each other. We need to work on our hearts. All the offerings, thanksgiving, whatever we have done, it is you. God said we are just making noise into his ears. Condition. Because we have not repented. Because we have not forgiven. Now, for many people, the time to usher in the new year is in churches. But for some others, the right place is to do it in pubs and entertainment joints. Now, this report gives you the other side of others who choose to use pubs and other entertainment joints to usher in the 2023. Let's have a watch. Ghana in recent years has become the destination of choice to spend the Christmas and end of year festive season. The nightlife in Accra during the festive season has attracted many foreigners and Ghanaians living in the diaspora since the year of return in 2019. The festive season for 2022 was packed with concerts and events throughout, with a lot of people in town every night. The last night was not any different, as a couple of revelers trooped to Osu, the heart of the capital city. The crossover for some revelers was to dance to loud music, drink and socialize with friends as they forget the past year's troubles entering the new year. A 
a section of revelers share their 2022 experiences and expectations for 2023 with City News. I should be in church right now, but I'm not. So hopefully by the 12, when it's 12 a.m., just come out, say some prayers, at least thank God for life, um, thank God for everything. Um, despite the fact that this year hasn't really been that well, um, we still thank God for life. Um, so it's one of the things I'm going to do. And right after the midnight, yeah, I'm, as you know, I'm right here. I'm chilling. I'm here to chill with my friends just to, I mean, wind down and think ahead. 2023 hopefully becomes a better year. Well, the church can save everything. Like, yeah, you pray for church and everything. But at the same time, what are you also doing to also improve your own lifestyle? Um, just like I said, you, you, you pray for God for wealth. Do you just get manners from heaven or does it create that opportunity for you to make wealth? Um, even though the economy is bad, there are things that you can do to actually make ends meet. So, yeah. Um, personally, I would say it's been up and down. There has been positives. Um, there have been negative. Um, but all in all, it's been good. Economically, economic-wise, ah, uh, <laughs> should I even say this? But, I mean, we know what is going on in the country and um, we, we, hope, we hope the... Our government is doing what they can to, to actually improve on it because, frankly speaking, it's it's really not that good. We, we could do better. Um, I, I would say 20, the year before was better um, compared to this year. We, we should have ended this year a lot better, but, I mean, just like I said, we were praying for the better, for, for, for better things to come. So hopefully 2023 improves. I like my December celebration really good here in, in Ghana. And to the point, that is the reason why I came back home. I'm a Muslim and I pray five times daily and I think that is enough. So this time I'm celebrating here. A bartender in Osu lamented the negative impact the alien economy had on sales in 2022 and hoped for a turnaround in Ghana's economy this new year. You know, let me say, actually, I would say it's bad. Because you know people probably say, oh, this is there. And there's this thing that you always, it's always on fire over here. But, you know, this year it came. But the market wasn't that safe like then. You see, right of the economy, the way things are going, things are very high. Customers complaining and stuff. But it was okay, though. Let me say, they come in their numbers, but not in their numbers. You understand? Like, it's balanced. Yeah, they come, order they complain, but they buy, but you got nothing to do. Yeah, so for that one, it's not that a problem for you, but sometimes the way they complain and you know, sometimes you give us some headaches, but we still work on it. Yeah, you know, the five finger is like, let's say 45 now, but because of the way now they've been talking, we bring it down for a while for them too. Yeah, it's not a good one. But I you know, we expect more next year. We expect more next year, because this year, because of the economy, people didn't really enjoy, but next year we pray that the government will you know, bring things down so that we enjoy more this year, next year. Meanwhile, a couple of revelers were disappointed about the poor organization of some concerts during the festive season and charged event organizers to step up their game in 2023. I was at and I was, I was at Afonish. Afonish really broke our heart. The way we were expecting to see Ashake on stage and Rima and they didn't show up. It really hurt us, but it has been good, so we are okay. I mean, if you're organizing a show like Affirmation, there should be maximum security. So you cannot tell me that because of my safety, the show needs to end. I knew what I'm about to do. That's why I'm at the occasion, I'm at the event. So you need to deliver. You need to show me what I paid for. 2023 is going to be big, you know. More movements, more networks, hitting the right corners, getting the right opportunities. You know, there's no time to sleep in 2023. We are just going for it. You're still watching the City Newsroom. My name is Vivian Kai. Look, still to come. Two persons in critical condition following an accident at the Kaswa toll booth. Stay with us. We'll be back with that story and many others.
is the neighborhood I'm having my twins. The very reason why I took it for us. Mm. See, the price is very good and it's spacious to contain all of us. Alpha Mexico. Now I'm a landlord. I don't pay rent. And my Airbnb business is booming. To me, pay me. Bank in Amina say an asset alphabet. The pension pay me twenty percent. The payment plan. I want to share my man. Just say a very smooth. This is a healthy place to raise our families and create in peace. Come on, be my neighbor. Alphabet City, the ABC of Home Sweet Home. Alphabet City is a classy and peaceful gated community in Sakumono. We have 24-7 top-notch security and high-quality access roads. We have three bedrooms and two washrooms. Three bedrooms and three washrooms with boys' quarters. We have three bedrooms and four washrooms. We have two bedrooms and two washrooms, all with beautiful kitchens and kitchenettes. Call Alphabet City on 0240-111119 or 050-44-999999. Alphabet City, the ABC of Home Sweet Home. Getting together for the first time in years was uh, a little bit awkward. Grandpa still tried to entertain us. Mom was always in the spotlight from the kids. It wasn't until Grandma cracked a joke. That's my father right prayer. That we got back into our groove. And this festive, DSTV is making family time even better with an upgrade. Stay connected to DSTV and we'll upgrade you to the next package for free. still stay with the new year day celebration and it's a special day for babies that are born on new year's day let's take you to the rich hospital where a number of babies were born on this special day i just thank god because um i was not supposed to give birth in january it was supposed to be in december so it's just a miracle so I just thank God. The nurses were very good, very supportive, understanding, caring, very, very caring because it was not easy. That was Thelma Lima, one of three mothers who were delivered of a baby on New Year's Eve at the Greater Accra Regional Hospital. Thelma and Dwight Alima, who became parents less than 15 minutes into 2023, thank God for a safe delivery of their baby, who was born a few days late but was said to be doing well. Stella Frimpong is a senior midwife at the hospital and she helped the Alimas through their delivery. And when she came, they said she was 5 cm. But then in an, hour, in an hour's time, the husband called us that the wife wants to push. So when we came, she was eight. And then within, within 30 minutes, she was full. Baby came out. She's delivered already. She has one baby already. So for her, it, it went a bit faster. This went well. For most families, the birth of a child is a happy and positive experience as babies are deemed a blessing. Others who labored through the night also had a joyous story to tell. For them, the arrival of their babies is a good sign into the new year. I was very happy. At first, I was in pain. I was seriously crying. People were looking at me here and there. I was like... I removed everything. I was wearing a coat. I removed everything. So the midwife asked me to help her so that she can also help me. Then she came back and said, 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 before then, I knew that she was one year like a third first and last one in my and Kebba hospital. Or one could in my Maji became there safely. The lamp was 12 per pe, penny each way, Jibu. So, like, the woman was, ah, 2023 B, a, a first, like a first B, 2023. 
She was happy, I was so, so happy. I was thanking her here and then, go for you, I draw. So far, I see two ages, boy. No, no, she was very, very happy. And when I was dancing, I in Kenobu, so ni send back away. Seconds morning before in che minute morning in form. Oh, da eh, make it twelve alone, twelve something. Mm. You're looking in the air, no come out, so moment. Come up, but never for me, you do work away. I'm here. At the time of our visit, the hospital had recorded a total of three New Year births. This was less compared to the six babies that were recorded last year. Dr. Pobi is the head of the Ops and Gynae Department at the hospital. So we've recorded three babies so far. No, there were no challenges. They were all very straightforward deliveries. Oh, not exactly. Um, quite a number of them were delivered before 12 um, a.m., yes. So the hospital, I mean, the staff of the department are working really, really hard. They are doing everything that they can to ensure that women go through safe deliveries. Uh, we are doing a lot of training. The doctors, the midwives are putting up their best. Yes. Though the year 2022 has not been smooth for many, some mothers have entered 2023 full of hope and joy after delivering New Year babies. From the Greater Accra Regional Hospital in Accra, I am Netele Nete Ajaho. still stay with health and take you to the western region where indigents in the region have come together those living abroad to build a non-invasive cardiology laboratory why have a watch in spite of how attractive sekelita credit has become due to the oil and gas industry leading to increased population the oil hub and for that matter the western region cannot boast of any modern hospital this Takwadi Hospital, which was built in 1929 as an European hospital to serve the contractors who put up the Takwadi Harbor, is today the Metropolitan Hospital, but very much in tatters. As a result, many have lost their lives while traveling to seek cardio treatment outside the region. It is for this reason that the Sekendi Takwadi Progressive Global Club, an association of natives of Sekendi Takwadi living abroad and home, have contributed to open this non-invasive cardiology laboratory at a Takrade hospital, which is the first of its kind in the Western region. Speaking to City News, the president of the club said it is their New Year present and a way of giving back to society. This is very special because we believe the heart is the most important organ in the body. And statistically, there are a lot of patients in the Western region who have... Um, High, high blood pressure. So we deemed it appropriate that as it is now, if you have any heart problem, especially when it gets to a level that cannot be controlled by internist, you have to travel to Kolebu, which is far a distance, which most people do not get there prior to their demise. So we deemed this very appropriate, and uh, I, we know it's going to help our people in the community as well as the western region at large. Medical superintendent of the Takwadi Hospital, while acknowledging the significance of the non-invasive cardiology laboratory said, the hospital needs overall makeup. The money that we have is barely able to go around with our consumables and then fixing uh, breakages and maintenance because of the old structure, things keep breaking all the time. So it's quite difficult to raise money for major projects. So this club, Sekendi uh, Takrade Progressive Club, coming in to build this uh, non-invasive cardiac lab for us is something that we cherish so much. Because without them, 
it would have probably taken years for us to do. Probably we'll buy one machine at a time, worked, worked, and hoped to buy another one. The Western Regional Minister, Kwabena Ochidaku Mensa, also thanking the Progressive Global Club, said government needs such investment support to ensure quality health care. There's no way government can do it all. Even in advanced countries where government have big budgets, still individuals come together to do things for the citizenry. So that is why we always encourage people to come together and then support their communities. And that is why in my speech I made it very clear that government needs these kind of partnerships to position our healthcare delivery system in the Western region. Health Director of the Western region, Dr. Ya Ufuri Abua, said the facility by the Second Takwadi Progressive Global Club would save lives. With this special laboratory actually provided by ordinary citizens of this very city, which is Sekendi Takrade, what health officials over here are also calling is for ordinary people and the government to actually come to the aid of the facility to see to the general renovation of the place. For City News, I'm Akwesejenim Takrade. Now, two persons are in critical condition following a, an accident at the Kaswato booth. Our Central Regional Correspondent Calvin Teche has the rest of the story. According to an eyewitness, the driver of the Toyota Hayes minivan with registration number GW8921-22 was driving at an uncontrollable speed approaching the Kaswato booth. In an attempt to switch from the inner to the outer lane, of the N1 highway, he crashed the vehicle, which was fully loaded with passengers, into the rear of a Kia Rhino truck. The impact of the crash was so heavy that the larger portion of the passenger side of the vehicle tore away, causing the toddler and her mother to fall from the vehicle even before it could come to a stop. Eyewitness Emmanuel Opoku told City News that the toddler and her mother were in extreme critical condition at the time they were being conveyed to the hospital. The other occupants of the vehicle who also sustained various degree of injury have also been conveyed to a nearby health facility. Mamma <laughs> You're still watching the city newsroom with me, Vivian Kai Loco. When we come back, we'll take you to the northern region where residents in the Nanumba North Municipality are struggling to get access to portable water. So with us, we'll be back with our story. Can become a household. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you will flip a real estate gaming platform that allows you to play and stand a chance of winning a house or cash or consolidated yeah. prizes, such as savings towards a house. Simple and easy to play. Visit www.yougoflip.com. Buy a ticket to enter the game. Wait for the end of the game to enjoy the win. Anyway, and win. Flip it 
O O This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Play responsible, not for persons below 18 years, and gaming can be addictive. It's City on the Go. You don't have to miss any of your favorite television and radio shows on City TV and City FM. Enjoy thrilling content from your world of great television and relevant radio at your convenience. Subscribe to CityTube on YouTube. Turn on your notification button and receive prompts on our live streaming sessions and new content uploads. For easy access to the CityTube page, scan the barcode on your screens. Subscribe to the City you page and voila unlimited content awaits you don't forget to subscribe to city tube for amazing content from city tv and city fm Let's move to education and take you to the greater Accra region where the Gam Manche has asserted that access to education will be heightened in the Jamestown community. This report has more. There is a growing concern that many children within school going age are either drop out or have refused to attend school in Jamestown. Parents, opinion leaders, traditional authorities, among others within Jamestown, have been blamed for doing little to address the dwindling interest in education among the youth in the area. Speaking to children at King Kamblonia at Bukum, Gamanche Ni Takite Kuchru II called on parents of these children who are not schooling to make their concerns known at the palace. The Gam Paramount School, Ni Ejasiche, Tabiene. On quoi? Nous avons un magia manchefe. A toi, Bediano. Yesuku, Bediano. Colliacassi. Colliacassi. Follow it. Yeni, Ikebo, Ikebo, Aya School. Come on, me. Now, my bagasse, Shia. Allow me bagamanche palace. Ni wo ka ma gbasa No ji wo ye mo ke hanye Sani ye fe nye 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 ya school Nye nye kase no ko wo A member of the office of the Gamanche Educational Committee Ni Kwade Intre outlined the measures underway to ensure that children in Jamestown are educated for free It's a fact that um, educational level here is very low when you come to yes, drop out, children are going to school. So one of the mandates of the king is that it will ensure that a lot of children are enrolled into schools. So there's a scholarship program in place where the king is um, going around looking for children with uh, financial problems for which reason they cannot, they cannot be in the classroom. So that's what the king is doing. And right here today, we are going to fish out for children with talents that can be harnessed so that uh, they are put into proper shape as human beings. See, these days you cannot focus only on grammar education, but skills is fetching a lot of money. So that's under focus of the king. And we know by end of day, we'll have children who will be enrolled in schools for free as part of the king's program. He further explained the essence of the King Kablonia event. So you have trampolines over there. We have all the modern toys you can think of. Uh, there will be food, there will be singing and dancing, of course, cultural dancing. There will be storytelling sessions and uh, tag of peace. This day, you don't have tag of war, spoon racing, and so many other interesting things happening here. In fact, it's to make 
the children happy. Mm. We've invited over 5,000 children, I've already told you, from schools, from churches, from Gamashi, all the way to Choko, yes, Udoko, Kaneshi, and that's what we are. We have um, Muslim kids here, so we have quite a number of children from uh, across society. The office of the Gamancha is hopeful that uh, the intervention to sponsor a number of children in the community to go to school will address the educational challenge in uh, this enclave. Reporting for City News, my name is Philip B. Latte. Now, still on the new year, as many enjoy the new year, others in the northern region are struggling to get access to water. We'll take you to the Nanumba North Municipality of the northern region, where residents there are struggling to get access to water. This report has more. Another year is here again with us, as women in this part of the country usually suffer to get portable water for the house. In dry season like this, women usually struggle for water by traveling long distances in search of water. At Gulinyansi in the Nanumba North Municipality, there is only one borehole serving the whole community, and the struggle by women sometimes leads to authentication. City News interacted with some of the community members who have been sharing their difficulties with the news team. They narrated the struggle they go through combining farm work with the challenges of looking for portable water. Chief of the community is pleading with authorities to come to their aid by providing them with boreholes. Africa does like the Nig, a Turkish community, has come to the aid of the community by providing them with a bowhood. At a short commissioning ceremony, the country representative of the Turkish community, Abdul Nasir Jamal, told City News that the provision of the bowhood will be of great help to the community. We like had information from the former regional minister and our headquarters in Turkey that the people of Bunyansi need to know about it. Uh, there was some small confusion between two clans because there was one ball in other side and the other side in different ball. So the other clan cannot cross to the other community to get uh, water. So we quickly came in to intervene. Uh, as a family with the, from the same community, uh, we have to bring them together. Alhamdulillah, today we had another borehole to help almost uh, 1,200 people who will be benefiting from this borehole, inshallah. Yeah. Assemblyman for the Gulnyasi community also shared with City News how the project has brought relief to the people. In fact, water shortages and the uh, water crisis here has been things that have been disturbing the community. But God being on our side, we got philanthropy from Turkey who came and drew more home and have commissioned it today. In fact, it is going to support or uh, help about 1,200 women who have been struggling each day to get water for their household choice. A similar project 
is also provided for the people of Kakuhi electoral area in Bimbila. This one is a mechanized bohood, and the women in the area were so happy for the gesture. Assemblyman for the Kakuhi Electoral Area, Alasa Mobla, tells City News that his outfit has formed a committee to ensure the project is maintained. He just constituted a committee to ensure that they can able to put a proper measure to ensure that they can able to manage it properly so that people will fetch their water without any problem. And that is exactly that we have just put in place. And nothing and towards will happen within the water facility. Well, that's it for today's edition of the City News Show. My name is Vivian Kai Loko. Thank you so much for watching and a happy new year for 2023.